This week I'm working on this Mercedes GLC which has sustained a nasty dent right on the rear panel. The center of the dent is quite tight and we have the frame protruding through on the lower part of the panel. Can this be repaired with paintless dent removal? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, it's Jake from First Aid Dent showing you another one of my paintless dent repairs from start to finish. And today this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more about that later in the video. Now this damage was created by the customer slowly reversing into a wooden post that was sticking out and unfortunately it didn't get picked up by any of the parking sensors. The body line has been deformed and pushed in and we have quite a sharp center in the middle of this damage. Now these types of repairs are perfect for the paintless dent removal technique and can save you having unnecessary body work and paintwork done on the vehicle. Luckily it was good weather and a great location for filming, but before I show you this repair, let's take a quick look at all this damage in detail. The first thing to mention is that we're dealing with a panel which is made from steel, which is much easier to work on as opposed to being made from aluminium. Looking at this damage head on, it covers an area of approximately 300 millimeters by 140 millimeters. We do have quite a strong body line on this panel and this has been deformed by approximately 22 millimeters. Here if we look closely under the PDR light we can get a sense of how tight the metal is in the center. There is a possibility that it may even be slightly stretched. Now looking at the dent from this angle we can see that we have two sharp indentations right in the middle and this has created these three creases which are coming from the center going out in different directions. Also if we look closely we have these crowns situated around the perimeter of the whole damage. At the very bottom of this panel, we can see that the inner edge of the frame is pushing into the exterior skin of the panel, creating this hard line. So that would be quite challenging to remove. Looking at the paintwork on this panel, it looks like a factory painted finish, which is great as I think the best way to get this repair started is with some glue pulling. To be able to glue pull this panel effectively, I will need to open it up slightly and hold it in place, which I do here using the ratchet strap and adjustable prop. Next, the area needs to be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. This will help the glue tabs stick well to the panel. First, I'm starting out with this small tab in the center and then I'm using a couple of longer ones either side in the V-shaped creases. Starting with this dent in the center, I'm only going to use a little bit of force on this one as I don't want to stretch the metal here, but I can give the other two creases either side of this tab a bit more force as I need these to come up quite a long way. To remove the tabs from the panel, I simply use the alcohol solution. I can then continue on with some more glue pulling. Here I'm using various tabs of all shapes and sizes that are suitable for the areas that I need to lift up. Then using the slide hammer I can give these areas a few sharp shocks to bring the metal up and bring it in line with the surrounding metal. Glue pulling isn't always a quick process, it can take several rounds of glue pulling as shown here using various different tabs to achieve the desired result. I know glue pulling won't bring this damage out 100% but the more I can lift up the less work will be needed when pushing this damage out with my PDR bars. Next I need to tap down some of the high areas surrounding these low sections with various different knockdown tools to level the panel as best I can. And here are the results after the glue pulling. As you can see it did a great job of lifting up the deep low sections. Now I can go in behind the panel to push the rest of this damage out. To get behind this panel I first need to remove the two handle sections which pop out quite easily. Then with a little bit of force the lower section can be removed. Next I can disconnect the light and the switch to open and close this panel and the trim panel can be set aside for later. Looking underneath there are some great tool access points and luckily lots of room inside to manipulate this metal from behind. Time now to bring up the low areas that the hot glue pulling was unable to lift up. And I'm starting with these two low spots highlighted here in red. My bar of choice is this straight bendable bar and I'm starting with the plastic bullet tip. First I need to heat the area up to prevent the paint from cracking. I also need to mention that I've placed some tape on the end of the tip to prevent it from slipping off the low spot when pushing from behind. So using this tip I'm applying just the right amount of force to bring these two tight areas up. I will have to push past the point of where the metal is level as the metal will just sink back down again. Now I'm using my sharp Delrin tap down to bring these pushed up areas back down again. I'm also using my knockdown with a standard rubber tip to bring down the softer surrounding metal. 
After just a few initial pushes and tapping down, you can see that the panel is already looking much straighter. Although, as you can see, there are still lots of areas on this panel that need to be addressed. Here I'm using my large rubber tip on my knockdown to bring down some of the larger crowns that were present on the surface of the panel. Now I'm going back to my screw on tip bar and I'm switching to my standard rubber tip. First a little bit of heat and then I'm going back in with my straight bar. As you can see from the back side of the panel, I'm just using some gentle pushes to lift up the low sections. And looking here on the top surface of the panel, you can see the metal moving in various places where the soft tip behind is moving the metal. I'm then tapping down any high sections back down again using my knockdown with a standard rubber tip. There are quite a few high sections, so this does take some time to do. Now I'm using one of my smaller bars from A1 Tools, and this bar has a medium point tip. Now I'm going to work on the lower section here, but first I need to use some heat. Then threading the bar through the large gap at the bottom of the panel, I can get to work lifting up some of these smaller low sections, as you can see here. This will also take the pressure off the protruding frame section at the bottom of the panel, which I'm going to tackle shortly. For any high areas, I just use my sharp Delrin tap down, and so far, this repair is all going to plan. Okay, so at this point in the video, I just wanted to mention today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. It's a platform that I've been using for some time now and I've used it to learn lots of new skills from editing the very video that you're watching now to photography, electronics, product design, 3D printing, the list just goes on. It's a great platform with classes that can really help you to achieve your best as it's a huge online community of creative and curious people exactly like me. You can pretty much learn anything you want. Now I'm a big fan of all the Adobe apps as you've probably seen as I like to explain exactly what I'm repairing with plenty of on-screen graphics and titles but one Adobe app I'm not so familiar with is Adobe Illustrator. So at the moment I'm following this course called Adobe Illustrator CC Essentials Training by Daniel Scott. As it's an amazing program if you want to be able to create artwork for say your website, videos, even your own business day stream which I'm really looking forward to doing. And the great thing about Skillshare is you can learn at your own pace as all of their courses are ad free. So you can always remain focused and in the zone when learning something that really interests you. So if you want to make 2022 a new year of learning and discovery and want to increase your knowledge in maybe productivity, business skills, video editing, graphic design, or anything else, well then I can highly recommend Skillshare. To sign up, simply use the link at the top of my description. The first 1,000 people to use my link or my code FIRSTTRACKDENSE will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Right, now let's get back to this repair. Okay, it's time now to tackle one of the trickiest parts of this repair, which is trying to get this protruding frame edge shown here in red to lie down flat again. To do this, I'm going to work across this protrusion using my sharp Delrin tap down. It's important to be very accurate with this tool because of the force needed to tap it down. If I come off the line even slightly, I risk putting a very sharp low spot in the panel, which I may not be able to remove. Luckily, I kept on target and the edge has flattened down nicely. Now it's time to work on all the fine details of this repair. So I'm still using my screw on tip bar and I'm using my sharp pencil point tip. Obviously, when using tips this sharp, the paint needs to be soft and flexible. As there is great access into the back side of this panel, it makes it easier to get nice positioning behind, which really helps when being accurate when lifting up these micro lows one by one. As you can see, the panel is moving, but I'm not making any sharp high spots on the face of the panel, as I'm being very, very careful. To tap down any of the micro highs, I'm using my Delrin tap down, which I've sharpened to a nice sharp point. This brings the micro highs down without bringing the surrounding metal down at the same time. Lastly, I just need to use some fine P2000 grip paper to sand down some of the small imperfections where the hard protruding line was. Then using some coarse cutting compound, I can polish this section back up again. Finally, I can give the panel a nice glossy finish by using some ultra fine polishing liquid. A quick wipe down and so far the panel looks brand new again. Now it's time to reassemble all the parts back on this panel. Once the main trim is clipped back into place, I can connect up all the electrics and then refit the grab handles. I can then press the boot closure switch to close the panel and check out the final result.
Well, job completed and another satisfied customer. Looking back on this repair, you saw that I started this dent using plenty of glue tabs, which really helped bring up a lot of the metal very cleanly. This obviously helped me out massively when it came to going in behind with the PDR bars as it reduced the amount of pushing that needed to be done. Probably the hardest part was bringing up the sharp center of this dent and not stretching the metal any further. The other difficult part was removing the hard frame line from the lower edge as you really need to be accurate with your tapping down. It took a bit of work, but I was really pleased with the result in this one. Having the knowledge, the skills, and plenty of patience really paid off on this repair. As always, if you like the video, it'd be great to get a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed and you like watching content like this, then why not hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, feel free to check out many more repairs like this over at my YouTube channel, or maybe watch one of the suggested videos at the end of this one. But that's all for now. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.